Hey Suga, it's your girl Risa coming at y'all and um, y'all I am back home as you can see. Um, for those of you that are not um, on Corey's Facebook page, I just came to give you an update. I'm not here to talk long. Um, come on. Down in my spirits right now y'all, but just. Hey dude. Um, thought I would come and share with you guys to give you an update. Um, we had a good time. Well, my little ones had a good time. Um, to see Corey's face, oh my goodness. Oh, it was priceless. And I do have some videos that I need to put together to upload, but I just have not been in the mood today. Um, we left early this morning from the hotel. We checked out about 9 o'clock. No. Well, nine o'clock, about eight something, and um, Corey. The reason being, uh, Corey woke up with a nosebleed. Never had a nosebleed nosebleed before. Um, on top of that, on our way there on Saturday morning, he got sick in the car and began to just throw up everywhere, and so. We were halfway there at that moment. Well, we were pretty much there. We were, yeah, I got a one earring. Um, so we just kept going, and I gave him some nausea medicine. You know, talking to the doctor, of course, that is normal. You know, sometimes after treatment, you know, they sick for a couple of days. He's never been sick this long. Um, so it's a first for us with him with that. Um, he's had, you know, every now and then the nausea, but his treatment um, was on well oh she was be Friday to be yeah the next day that was normal you know sometimes but usually after I give him the medicine or he's had it in his system twice because they give it to him right after they give him his treatment and then um, Friday night he got sick again um, about six and he wasn't due to have the medicine till seven o'clock so he once he got the medicine he began to feel better and move around and jump and be his old jolly self um so saturday morning he got sick in the car and it took him a while to get right we were able to give him some medicine in the car um but he really has not had much to eat this weekend not at all he might have ate all day Saturday, a handful of chicken nuggets, and that's it. Um, he didn't drink much at all, because when Corey is feeling okay, he drinks a lot. You know, he just loves water and juice and things like that. I buy the little Capri Suns, and he did have um, two Capri Suns Saturday at the park at Walt Disney. Um, but that's it. He wouldn't, and so I was already kind of going through it and then you know he got when we got to the hotel because he got wore out y'all he got to where he didn't want to walk anymore which is understandable because they do get tired and of course little kids get tired period you know even without them being under treatment um so we had him in a wheelchair and i had his stroller and he enjoyed himself. Y'all, there was a moment, and I didn't get to record it because we were on our way from It's a Small World. I'm recording. The line is so was so long, we didn't get a chance to go in, and it was close to the time for the um, Disney show to start. So we were on our way to the Disney show, and as we got close to where everyone was sitting, the characters were already on. They were running down to the towards the stage. And he looked up and saw. And of course he was a faster than the stroller. Um, he looked up and saw Mickey Mouse. The boy threw his food down on the ground. And jumped out of the stroller. Literally jumped out of the stroller. And I'm like hey hey wait wait wait. He did not fall. He did not skip a beat. I have never seen a child be that happy. He was throwing his arms up in the air like this. And hey, he was running full speed. And he, the boy skipping and hopping. And 
everybody kept trying to grab him. My children was like, hey, slow down. He was snatched away from him and he literally ran to the um, to the stage. They had it roped off where you couldn't get by. Ashley had to hurry up and grab him because he was ducking down to go under the rope, y'all. It was priceless. Oh, it was priceless. And um, nobody sponsored this trip for us. So a lot of things that happened on this trip was, I know, nobody but God because... We got in. Of course, we paid our own way. We had to buy our own food, this, that, and the other. Um, the tickets were a blessing to us. and But anything else, we had to provide transportation, pay for our own hotel room, all of that. All of our own food, everything. Gas, we paid for all of that. And um, when we first got there... Um, he saw a fire truck on the inside. The characters they had, well, these weren't characters, but some of the people that worked there, they were dressed in the old time clothes and they were dancing and singing and carrying on. And the little car that they were, you know, dancing around, it, they left it there. So, you know, if you wanted to take pictures, you could. So I do have some pictures of Corey sitting in the car. And while he was there, there were two ladies there, I guess, supervising the car. And, um... They, um, he had a little button say, I'm celebrating on it. And they asked, what was he celebrating? And I told him he's cancer free. And they were like, wow, you know, I said, he just had a treatment yesterday, but all of the cancer is gone. Um, he only has two more treatments. This lady, she was like, wow. And I said, well, waiting to go see Mickey Mouse. And she was like, well, Mickey Mouse is in this building over here. And I was like, oh, okay. Cause it said the Mickey Mouse theater. And so she say, are you guys going to go over? I said, well, yeah, we'll go over and check it out. You know, let him see Mickey Mouse. And she said, well, I tell you what. We began to walk off. She said, well, I hope you guys have a good time. We began to walk off. And she came up to me. And she said, can you guys follow me? And I was like, she said, no, just come on. Just follow me. So we followed her. And um, she took us in the building through a side door. I don't even know how we got in there. It was a lot of doors that we went through. But y'all, it was a VIP entrance to actually be in the same room with Mickey Mouse. And to take pictures with him and talk with him. And there was a handful of people that was able to get in there. And I was like, oh my goodness, I had chill bumps. When we got in the, and we were standing at the low, they have the low rope. We were standing there because it was another set of kids there taking pictures. Corey looked up and saw Mickey Mouse. He screamed out, hey, Mickey, over everybody. He didn't care what they were trying to take pictures. He just, Mickey, 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 hey, Mickey, hey, Mickey. He just kept going. And so we were going to stay back. And she told us, she said, no, the whole family goes. I was like, oh, okay. So my son walked him up and stood him by Mickey Mouse. And he was looking like, you know how you looking like you can't believe something. He was patting his face like that. It was like, hey, Mickey. And then, and then he looked up at him. He kind of got scared because he's seeing this big head in front of him. And it was priceless. It was priceless. Jalen was scared. So I went and stood her by Mickey, kind of like almost behind him. Mia don't care. Mia was all gung-ho. Corey was kind of iffy. You know, you if you look at the video, you'll see him kind of, you know, kind of almost want to walk off. But Mickey grabbed him. And so... Um, when we got ready to leave I said tell Mickey thank you and he turned around and he put his hands up to his face and he hugged him and he was like thank you Mickey and the entire room was like oh my goodness because they knew what was going on with Corey and y'all I just started to bawl to see his face how much he loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse he absolutely loves I don't know if he loved Mickey Mouse more than he loved 2 Chains. I don't know. It's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, 2 Chains, and um, the Black Eyed Peas song. He don't know who the Black Eyed Peas are, but he loved their song. Well, I take that back because he watches their videos, so I'm pretty sure he would know them if he saw them. But those three things, well, I can't say three things, but Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, all day, every day, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Because he knows some days um, he likes to watch 2 chains and some of 2, uh, well, if they don't have the clean version, he know he can't watch it. Even though he know word for word the wrong version. And I, I didn't know 
that you can go to the Play Store on your phone because I don't know anything about stuff like that. And I happened to hear this and I was looking. I was like, well, well where did you find that? Because we had disabled YouTube at one point so he couldn't get on it. The boy would go and listen at samples of songs. I don't know how he found it, but he found it. But anyway, so he he loves 2 chains. He loves um, the Black Eyed Peas, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Fresh Beat Band, um, Yo Gabba Gabba, oh my goodness, so if at all possible, I don't know about 2 chains and the Black Eyed Peas, all of it is going to have to be a miracle from the Lord, but I would love to take him this year to see each and every one of them, That is, that is what I would like to do, if it's God's will, I know it'll happen, so after he saw Mickey to see his face and to see how he hugged him. Let me tell y'all something. Anybody that know Corey know that if he don't see you, if he's not comfortable with you, he is not going to talk to you and he is not going to let you touch him. He will not. I wouldn't care. You can hand him a bag of candy. He will not. Mm -mm. But for him to just walk up to Mickey and just be, oh, y'all, it was priceless. I started bawling. I started thinking about everything he's been through. And just for that moment, just to let him enjoy some something that he likes. And I'm trying not to cry now. Oh, it was priceless, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Jalen and Mia enjoyed themselves. They got to see everything. Mia wanted to see the Disney princesses. Um, Jalen don't really have a preference. She just like things like me. I don't really have a set preference. You know, I just like a lot of things and Jalen's like that. Mia wanted to see the Disney princesses. The only one she didn't get to see was Beauty and the Beast. And we had to leave because Corey got to where he's feeling bad. So my goal for them is sometime this year, I would like to take Jalen and Mia by themselves to see to Disney World for her to see and I'm hoping to do it on her birthday um, Beauty and the Beast that's the one she wanted to see she got to see everybody else Ariel she got to see all of them she didn't and she got to see all of the well not all of the Disney characters but the princesses all except Beauty and the Beast that's the one she was upset about and um the only thing Jalen wanted to do was get in the jacuzzi. It began to rain Saturday night. I mean, pour down rain Saturday night. So they had already got in the pool earlier, and we were going to take them back to get in the jacuzzi. But she didn't get to do that. So um, they had a good time. They did. And um, besides him getting sick, well, I said I wasn't going to make this long, y'all. And I don't know. I already went over it. But anyway just come to give you guys an update about our trip um i got some things to get my spirit right in the next couple of days so um i may not be on i might you know just put the video together of the different things that we saw and this is to my girl val val i did not get to record i did not get to record um the different places in Orlando because we had to leave. Corey got, of course, he got sick. So, um, I know we're going back for his birthday in March. I'm not sure if we're going to go to the Disneyland or Disney World. So, we're going to see. I've been to Disney World. I want to go to Disneyland. But I got to convince my husband to get on a plane. I'm not too cool with the plane myself. But I would do it for my kids to be able to go and enjoy this opportunity. Um, make sure. <laughs> yeah. So um, I did take some pictures and record a little bit of the hotel that we stayed at, which was called um, the Rosen Shingle Creek. And it was so nice. It was nice. It was it was not a lot for children. To, it wasn't anything for children to do in that hotel besides the game room. It was a small game room. But it was a very, very upscale place um, in our room. And I didn't film my room. Didn't think about it till I was leaving and the beds and all messed up. 
But if you go online to the Rose and Shingle Creek in Orlando, Florida, you will get an idea. We had the two queen size beds in our room and I those beds felt so good. But it was really, really nice. We had a poolside room so we could see all of the golf course and the everything and so i got lost for a little while and went and sat down in one of these little little areas they have all these little vignettes of you know sofas and chairs and tables and things where you can sit and just relax and i did i left everybody upstairs and i went and sat by myself about a good 45 minutes to an hour and um just relaxed just relaxed um i needed it and i need some more and um yeah, so that's pretty much it. Right now, Corey is feeling okay. He's still not eating much. So I will be calling the doctor in the morning uh, when his doctor is on call because it's, I don't, I'm not looking at it as an emergency because all of some of these things that are going on, they have already told us to keep an eye out and they told us what to do. So since they've already told us that, I don't want to keep calling them for something that they've already given me instructions on how to handle. Um, if his nose were to bleed again, then I will call him because it just it, it did it. But I got to look at too all of the activity that he did when he went to sleep. It was before six o'clock in the afternoon. He didn't wake up to about seven o'clock this morning, y'all. He was out cold, okay. And I look at too. We were on the twelfth floor, the altitude. Um, and, of course, you know, Corey has had problems with his blood pressure. So, his blood pressure may have been up and which could have caused, you know, his nose to bleed. And, um, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to diagnose him. But I will, and if it happens again, I will call the doctor tonight. But, um, I have to call them tomorrow anyway. So, I said I will let them know what happened and that it didn't last long. But it was just something for me to pay attention to because it hadn't happened before. And, um, but other than that, I want to thank everybody for your, um, your comments and well wishes and telling us, you know, to make sure we have a good time. That was not a, something, you know, for me, it was for my little ones. And what made me happy is to see them smile. That's what made me happy, you know? Um, but like I said, I may not be on, it depends on how I, it's taken me all day to do this. I did come home. And I sat for a while and I actually took me a long nap, a very long nap. Um, and so I'm getting ready to go back to sleep now. I'm going to wash my face and um, I'm going to turn in for the night. And I just want you guys to know that I love you and I thank all of you for your love and your support. Um, I got to feed my spirit. Thank you, Lord. I do. I do. I'm in a place right now that I know I need to come out of. Um, so I will be back with, I'm going to put the video together tomorrow and I'll upload it. Um, if not, then y'all know that I just wasn't in the mood, just didn't, wasn't able to get it done. But I just want you to know that I love each and every one of you. And I send y'all hugs, kisses, and many blessings. And you guys be encouraged and continue to smile. You know, at times we get to where we can't encourage ourselves and that's been me today. Um... But other than that, I'm going to feed myself with some encouragers before I go to bed. And um, I will be back, y'all. Bye, Sigma.